Inflation is taking aim at your Independence Day. The cost of food items for the 4th of July barbecues up by double digits. And as Americans are facing sky-high gas prices, the vice president is being slammed for this response. Is there anything else you can do to help bring down the cost of gas? It's one of our highest priorities as an administration. So there is the piece that is about gas and bringing down the cost of gas, which in large part has exploded because of Putin's war in Ukraine. The president is in Europe right now talking, as he has been, to bring our allies and partners together so we can have a common defense around what we believe to be democratic principles. But there are other things we need to do. Joining us now, host of Varney & Company on Fox Business, Stuart Varney. We were talking during the commercial break. When you go to the grocery store, you just buy what you need because yes. it's so expensive. You can't buy two or three boxes right. of toothpaste or, right. you know, stock your freezer with chicken. Right. I mean, chicken is up 33 percent, eight ninety nine dollars a pound. Ground beef up 36 percent. I mean, that, that comes as a real shock to the system when you go to the grocery store and you see this kind of thing. I think this July the 4th weekend is going to bring together a series of crises that are afflicting the administration. The travel crisis, can you get there with airports in disarray? Can you, get, can you afford the gas? It's 4.88 per gallon now uh, against 3.12 last year, July the 4th. Can you afford to get in the car and drive to the holiday barbecue? And then there's the food. I mean, you've seen that graphic. We got it up uh, uh, it just a moment ago. Uh, and if you look at the Farm Bureau, says that for a party of 10, the price for a cookout today is 69.68. I think it's actually more than I that. I agree with you entirely. It's up, they say it's up 17%. And then you've got the food the supply chain problem. Are you going to be seeing people going to the grocery store, trying to buy as much as they possibly can, ending up with empty shelves this weekend? There's four crises coming together. Travel, gas, food, sh uh, supply chain. Uh -huh. All coming together this weekend. And as you showed there from uh, Vice President Harris, they haven't got a clue what to do about these crises and food price inflation especially that's going to hit us hard July the 4th. My goodness, with these barbecues, why, why are the airline prices so expensive right now? I mean, obviously gas, but is there another component? Two ideas. Number one, jet fuel, straight up. Number two, they can. They can fill any plane that they put in the air and they can sell more seats than they've got available, so they do. Uh, that's why airfares are up so much. I'm not sure of the precise number, but in the last six months, I think it's up about 20, 25 percent. Sometimes when I've flown from New York to Florida, the price from January has doubled by the time you get to May. I that's on an it. airline flight to Florida. I that's believe bad it. news. You have a new episode of American Built. Yes, it's a particularly good one, 8 p.m. tonight. Okay. The Lincoln Highway. Do we have a soundbite on that? We I'm do. Not... OK, do you want to roll it? Let's roll it. Let's roll that thing with a long and winding idea. They really were visionaries. To build a rock road from coast to coast. Hey, this is way better than a muddy road. The mud, the blood, the sweat, and the gears. It's a little bit of a life and death endeavor. Just seemed impossible. How they created the ultimate road trip, the Lincoln Highway. By the way, that was the first transcontinental rock road in America, the really? Lincoln Highway, as it was called. And where did it start and where, does, where did it end? Uh, uh, you know? <laughs> very good oh, you got me. You got me. I don't actually know the town from where to where, but it was the first rock road. Take That's it. That's really cool. I can't wait to watch. That's tonight at 8 o'clock. It is. On Fox, Fox Business. Correct. Okay, and you can watch Stuart today at 9 a.m. Eastern and every day on Fox Business as well. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks, Asa.